Hey, hi there. This is Murli Sundaram, your happiness coach, and a warm welcome to this interesting episode where I'm going to share with you. At any point in time in your life, there are two choices in any situations, and that's what I'm going to talk to you in this uh, traveling with Murli. As I'm going to my BNI chapter meeting in the morning. Um, I encountered a very interesting situation right now and uh, I'm going to share with you that interesting situation that has happened now and how I had two choices running in my mind and what choice I operated. I think many of you would have experienced such things in your day-to-day -day life and at every moment in our life we are continuously encountering situations where we need to make a decision. There are Always at any point in time we may have we make a lot of decisions and a life is nothing but a series of decisions Some decisions go right some decisions go bad, but it's not the problem of the decision It's the after the decision we made what we think in our mind that really really matters Thank you very much for joining this interesting episode where I'm going to talking about At any point in time in our life. We have two choices in our life Today I was uh, I'm right now traveling in my car to my BNI chapter meeting, okay, and uh, I'm already a little late for the meeting. But you know what happened as we just came out of my house? There was one big lorry came and stood in front of us, and it was taking trying to take a turn. And the lane was so narrow that he was trying and trying and trying and trying. He could not do it for a long time. He just got stuck for. 10 minutes and every minute is important for me because I teach everyone that we should go on time okay we should go early on time so as the time is increasing there are two situations happening in my mind what am I supposed to do now okay because I'm already getting late why is this guy doing this in the early morning why is he standing here and blocking the whole traffic why can't he do it like that so too much of mind rumbling happens have you any day encountered a situation where you are supposed to go on time and exactly someone comes and stops you some situation happens thereby you need to face that situation okay if you have, if you have faced any such situation you can say yes in the comment bar so that I know that you are you can relate my experience so right now it's going in my <laughs> it just happened five minutes before and uh, that that lorry guy was not it is taking a lot of time and every minute was uh, tension okay slowly the tension was increasing the adrenaline pumping is increasing the interesting part is at this point in time we have two choices either I can react to that situation by screaming and yelling and succumb to the adrenaline reaction or I can become aware that yes my emotions are rising but I can't do anything. Is there, is there anything else can I do right now at this moment? Okay, just because that that lorry has to has to take a turn. Then only we can move. So that situation is unavoidable right now. So since the situation is unavoidable, is there anything else I can do right now? No. So when you can't do anything right now, there is no point in cribbing and crying in that situation. So I have one choice. Can I just become aware of the emotions rising and then take a nice slow and deep breath and accept the situation as it is and go with the flow of my life. That's at any point in time if you observe there are two choices presented to us every situation every moment of our life we have a choice to make either to go in this direction or either the right direction or left direction or go straight it's up to you at any point in time we have to make a choice and life is a series of choices and decisions that we have made some choices leads us to the right destination some choices doesn't lead us to the right destination so that's how life becomes very interesting instead of cribbing over what has happened Instead of cribbing, we can just accept the situation and start enjoying life. So that is one interesting lesson I learned. Interesting awareness, a thought, a revelation in my head. I immediately thought I will just share it with each and one of you. Because life is a series of choices and every choice takes us to a new path. So if you have made any choice like that in your life where you have been put in your spot and you made a choice and it resulted in success or learning, go ahead and share that experience below in the comment because someone watching this video, they will also read your comments and they can also get inspired from your choice and learning from your life. And if you believe that uh, life is a series of choices 
and every choice we have a freedom go ahead and share this uh, video on your timeline so that one of your friend will get benefited probably you can share this video on whatsapp so that many people will get benefited because um, I think uh, choice is freedom. We have the freedom of choice and we can always make the freedom of choice. But to make the right choice, we need to become aware that increase your awareness. So everything boils down to awareness. If you want to make the right choice, your awareness has to increase. So how do you increase your awareness? The only way to increase your awareness is to slow down your mind. When you slow down yourself, you can become aware of what is happening, what thoughts are coming, what emotions you are feeling, and what kind of a body language, the behavior, everything, behavioral change, physiological change, everything, we become aware of it. So that's the reason slowing down is very, very important. The new year is coming up. Let's have a very interesting thematic new year of slowing down. Right now, it's time for us to slow down. When I say slow down, slow down this, when you slow down, slow down the breath. When you slow down the breath, the brain starts functioning at a very high quality speed. Because slow is more. That can be the theme for next year for you. Because in another few days, the new year is coming up. We can live a thematic life next year instead of goal-based life. Okay, Have a thematic, fantastic life. And if you really believe in a thematic life and if you've already created a theme for your life, go ahead and share your theme for 2020. Okay, or theme for next year how would you like the next year to be and see whether you can make all the choices according to that particular theme thank you very much for watching this interesting episode on choices this is Murushundram your happiness coach bye bye